Ladies and gentlemen, GMAT challenge number two. On a vacation, Rose exchanged five hundred dollars for euros at an exchange rate of one eighty euro per dollar and spent three fourths of the euros she received. If she exchanged the remaining euros for dollars at an exchange rate of one dollar twenty cents per euro, what was the dollar amount she received? All right. So this is, I would say, a bigger challenge comparing to challenge one. First of all, it has more words. Second of all, the relationships sounds like this is more complicated. But it's okay. Let's do it step by step. So first, let's analyze the first sentence. So Rose did exchange five hundred dollars for euros, an exchange rate of point eight euro per dollar. Um. So I guess that's the first thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to find out the amount the euros that Rose will get for five hundred dollars. To do this, I think the best way to do is set up a proportion.、Uh, so my proportion in this case, I will put dollar on the left hand side, and I will put the euros on the right hand side. And of course, you have different ways of setting up this proportion. So let me write five hundred dollars, and of course, it's going to be corresponding to a euro amount that we're going to calculate. So I set it as x, and over. And now that's the other relationship,、uh, which says that eighty cents euro per dollar. So that means on the dollar side, I'm gonna put a one. That's one dollar. The corresponding euro on the other side will be point eight. Point eight. And now I have this proportion. This should form a proportion. That's how exchange rate works. So cross multiplication. I would say that's the probably the easiest way to do、uh, cross multiplication. So I got x is equal to 500 times 0.8. So that's essentially just、uh, 400. Right. So you, what you can do is this a 0.80 is basically four fifths. Four fifths of 500. That's 400. So what it means is Rose exchanged 500 dollars for 400 euros, and then she spent three fourths. Of what she received, so three fourth、uh, spend three fourth of this. So four hundred times three fourth, so that give you three hundred dollars, three hundred euros. So she spent three hundred euros, and there, there, there are one fourth left. Or you could just say four hundred minus three hundred. So 100 euros left. Okay, and then she exchanged the remaining euros, which is just this 100 euros, for dollars. So again, you have this proportion.、Um, so you have this 100 euros, and exchange it back to dollars. They ask you what is the amount of dollar that she will receive. So this is I'm going to give a different variable called one. And I'm gonna set up the proportion. So this time the exchange rate is one point one dollar twenty cents per euro. So that means if I put a one underneath euro side, I'm gonna put one point two underneath the dollar sign. And now I have this proportion. And again, cross multiplication. So I have y equals one hundred and twenty. Voila, that's our answer. So she will receive one hundred twenty dollars for her one hundred euros. Answer is D. And all right, I will see you in our next challenge. Bye bye.